Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing really well. Now today I'm making some cream and beer tarts. Please give this video a like. I would really appreciate it and you would be supporting my channel. Now the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to make my biscuit dough. Now in my bowl, I've got one and a quarter cup of white sugar. Um, and to that, I'm going to add 250 grams of butter. I can use butter or margarine. And to that, I'm also going to add one tablespoon of oil. Now I'm just using your normal cooking oil. And I'm going to cream that together. I'm just going to scrape the sides of my bowl just to make sure that all the butter um, is incorporated. So now I'm going to add some vanilla and um, we can do one or two teaspoons vanilla essence or vanilla extract um, and I'm going to add one whole egg and I'm just going to combine those. And again, scraping the sides of my bowl. And I'm going to give it one last mix. So now for my dry ingredients. I've got two cups of cake flour as well as two cups of sub rising flour um, and I'm just sifting it in. And we're just going to form a soft dough. Um, you might need to go in with your hands just to bring the dough together. So now that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to use my hands um, just to bring my dough together. So I'm just going to transfer my dough um, to my surface. I'm going to do that on a clean <coughs> surface, of course, um, and just bring it together. But you're going to try to not over over knead your dough. Just bring it together. And then you'll end up with a nice soft but firm dough. And you're just going to place it aside, let it rest for about 20 to 30 minutes and before you form your tarts. So after 30 minutes of allowing my dough to rest, I've just rolled out half of my dough. Um, I'm using just the round shape um, cookie cutter and I've also greased my muffin pan. And I'm just lining them and all I'm doing is I'm just cutting out rounds I mean then I'm using my hand just I'm using my fingers just to flatten it a bit more I'm just going to place it inside of your inside of your muffin pan I'm just gonna let it fall down and then you're gonna gently press it so it's down and there's no um, air bubbles. And then all you're going to do is just use your finger 
I just press on the side um, just lightly so the dough just moves up. as easy as that and you are going to make sure that your pans is that you grease them well now i'm just using some margarine but you can use a cooking spray and i'm just making sure that i don't have any air pockets And I'm just gonna continue to do that until all my until my pan is covered. Now this dough you can use for log tarts, apple crumble, custard tarts. It's a very versatile dough. And if I do have any leftover dough, I will just place it in the freezer um, or in the fridge. Um, and if I want to make a quick mock tart, I have some dough. It is a bit time consuming, um, but this is the hardest part of this tart. Okay, so as you can see, I have lined my pans with my dough. I still have quite a lot left. Now, if you want to make a smaller batch, you can just have the ingredients, but I like to make some in advance when I have for next time, um, if I want to make a tart. Um, now, you're going to place this in a preheated oven, 180 degrees Celsius, for about 10 to 15 minutes, or until it's nice and brown. Okay, so you can blind bake these. By just using a little muffin case, I mean, you're just gonna place it on top of your dough and add some rice or beans to it, and you're gonna bake that for about 10 minutes. And you're gonna remove your paper cup and you're just gonna bake it for another five minutes. But I don't mind that it rises a bit, so I just bake it um, as is. But like I said, if you do, don't want it to rise that much, then blind bake it with beans or rice. So now it's going to go into the oven for about 10 to 15 minutes. So my cups is out of the oven. Um, I'm just allowing it to cool before I remove it to a wire rack. Um, and in the meantime, I'm going to make some cream. Now I'm just using whipping cream. You can use fresh cream. Um, or you can use olive whip. Or like a sweet whip. I also have some caramel and then I have some berries. Now to my cream, I'm just going to add about three tablespoons of icing sugar. I'm going to place through a sieve. I'm just doing three heap spoons, tablespoons. So my shells has cooled. So I'm just adding a teaspoon of my caramel. Now, like I said before, you can also add custard. You could add Nutella um, or the nose. You could even add jam. I just have a throwaway piping bag, and then I'm just I'm just using a straw bottle. I'm 
I could also just use a spoon and just place a dollop on top. So after my cream, I'm just going to add some fruit. I've got some blackberries, blueberries and raspberries. I'm just going to give it a generous dusting of ice and sugar. And that is it guys, quick and easy berry tarts. Please give this video a like, I would really appreciate it, subscribe if you're new and if you haven't already, click the bell so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.